SpaceX Starship Super Heavy rocket ship begins ground testing ahead of its first orbital flight, the scientific community is beginning to see the opportunities this ship brings for research-based space travel. According to a recent article published in Science, the same rocket that will transport people back to the Moon, and maybe to Mars, will also revolutionize sending robotic space explorers to the corners of the solar system. When fully operational, the Starship, according to SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, would be able to transport 100 tons of cargo to low Earth orbit. As long as there is a way to refill the fuel, the cargo could go any place in the solar system. Each launch will cost 10 million US dollars. Setbacks like fueling, Starship is a major step forward towards interstellar travel. It's no surprise that experts in robotic science mission design and management are beginning to take notice of Musk's massive rocket. Jennifer Heldman, a scientist at NASA Ames, is thinking about sending back lunar samples. It has been proposed that a starship could land on the moon, collect lunar ice that could be kept cold in the ship's hold, and then bring it back to Earth for research. Understanding where and how the ice was accumulated over billions of years might provide crucial information for the design of the future lunar outpost. According to Daniel Baker, head of the University of Colorado Boulder's Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics, Starship could perhaps transport a probe to Mercury, a challenging planet to visit due to the requirement for additional fuel and protection from the Sun. Similarly to how the Voyager probes visited some of the outer planets, Starship might deploy a huge probe into interstellar space. Also, the huge rocket would be capable of launching space-based observatories that would be orders of a magnitude larger than Hubble or James Webb. SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, which have dominated the launch market, are living proof of the benefits of reusable rockets. The Starship will operate on the same principle, that increased space flights at a low cost may be accomplished via reusability and rapid turnaround, but on a far grander scale. The promise of the space age, which has been building for over a century, will be realized in part or when Starship becomes operational. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.